Pilgrims, and welcome to another episode of the Polygon Pilgrimage. And today I wanted to share with you the beginnings of something really great. So here I am working on a huge, huge modular low poly dungeon kind of kit. Uh, it's going to be a whole lot more than that. I can't say too much about it right now. Don't want to give away all the secrets. But I wanted to share with you uh, one of the core foundational ideas behind this whole kit is uh, modularity. Obviously we have you know different pieces and they can all snap together. I'm sure you're familiar with that by now. But I'm also working with a new idea to my pipeline. Not a new idea, but a new idea to my pipeline called uh, texture atlasing. So as you can see, here's the beginnings of my kit. And what I have here, um, just to briefly explain, I've got uh, a wall and then a half wall of the same type. So A, B, C, D. And then I have some pillar types, some, some base pillar types, A, B, C, D, and then smaller pillars, you know, more like a trim, like they'll be along the bottom, that kind of thing, A, B, C, D. And then we have some floor tiling, individual floor tiling, double floors, and starting to work down here with some of the pathing pieces. So imagine like a, an old school Legend of Zelda game, you have that little carpet that goes along on top of the floor tiles. So that would be these pieces here that I'm working out the best ways to do some of those things. So anyway, we have a lot of these pieces and you're thinking, man, that's a ton of texture space. But actually it's not. So let me bring up the um, texturing window here and you'll see all of those pieces, every single one of these that you see so far, are all covered by this. And that's almost nothing. So this is a texture atlas. And basically an atlas is little more than a modular set of textures. So we have a modular set of geometry now we're going to have a modular set of textures. And if you look at our example here, so walls type A, which is here and here, those correspond to here and here on the texture sheet. So the idea is that if I make these are additional variants of the A type, so this would be like A and like with some cracks in it, or A, like a half wall, that A would still pull from this area. And so if I zoom in on the textures here, you see they're all snapped exactly to one another. And what this does is it's a completely seamless interface and with proper masking we can cut it off exactly at those seams and with programs like Substance Designer we can design materials that tile exactly at certain points. So uh, next week's episode I'm going to go into a little bit more about this and I wanted to share with you some, uh, some of the math behind it and explaining how to figure out exactly where things snap and some of the planning that has gone into this but I wanted to share with you the basic idea and get you kind of thinking about it. Uh, do some research as well. Look up, you can see some great examples of some great texture atlases. This is a super, super compacted, I'm trying to squeeze the lemon as much as I can kind of version. There are some simpler ones if you just have top right corner is, you know, your walls and then top left corner is roofs and then floors and then doors. You know, you can make it really simple. And maybe we'll, we will do a really simple example to show you how, how uh, expansive this can be. So my kit here is scheduled to be just over a thousand pieces, and that's you know multiple combinations of all these different things, and I've got all the all the paper here kind of figuring it all out. So just wanted to share with you the basic concept of this. So we're going to be going into a few episodes about uh, texture atlasing, about modular kit production, and how the two tie together, and what kind of amazing results you can get from this. So this is only the beginning. We have a whole bunch here. Um, actually, next week's episode I can share with you, I've been working on some arches, and arches are kind of a complex thing, so I can go over how I went about building those. So I just wanted to share this with you. I will be creating uh, an ultimate modular kit. It'll be over a thousand pieces, multiple texture themes. It's a huge project that's on the side. I work on this during my lunch breaks, and trying to get this up for you guys so that A, if you just need it, you can just buy it. If you want to learn more about it, I'm going to do a more extensive tutorial series on it. I'm trying to get some products up on the gum road, and these are totally secondary things. They will not interfere with the pilgrimage at all, but that will generate some funding that we can pour into the pilgrimage and get some tools and you know upgrade the hardware when we need to, that sort of thing. So it's totally secondary. If you are subscribed to the channel, you will never have to pay for anything that I produce as part of the pilgrimage. These will all be separate, and I just wanted to share it with you guys, and it's a ton of work, and it's going to take a ton of time to explain it all, so that's why I figured it has to be in a, a different format, and that format, the best thing to do is just to, to kind of sell it as a tutorial series of videos, but I'm working with some amazing artists who are kind of mentoring me throughout the process, and they're also going to show me some techniques that I'm going to turn around and share with you, so 
very excited for this. Wanted to give a quick shout out and share it and show you what we have so far and have my uh, my UVs. You can see everything is nicely lined up and we're all working in uh, exacting numbers and that's an important thing. So yeah, very excited. Um, I'll let you guys go for now. I uh, hope you have enjoyed very much. Stay tuned for a lot more awesome content coming. As always guys, keep practicing, get better, and I'll see you next time as the pilgrimage continues.